Hello everybody, uh, this is Bernard Parsons, uh, officially known as Bernie P here on the uh, Bernie P channel. Um, today I'm going to discuss with you some known issues with OBS that I've been having uh, that's been causing some crashes and I found that it's a little bit of a workaround until either OBS or Windows have come up with an e a way to fix this problem. Now I'm going to demonstrate for you the crash that I get. Now, in the source section of OBS Studio, there are a few sources that will cause OBS to crash all the time. Now, this is nothing related to uh, games specific, which some people have been s talking about on the forums that they've been having problems with. But my specific issue is when I go in to add an image uh, to my, my scene, and go to browse for my image for example I get this crash so just by fluke I happen to figure out a workaround and what I do is I simply force OBS during the crash to accept an image now I have my images folder here with all my graphics and I have an image here uh, for the Hawken game that I play and um, I had this one set up on the OBS Classic because OBS Classic doesn't crash. Now, there are some issues with OBS Classic um, that I'm not going to get into because we're going to fo mainly focus on OBS Studio. But I wanted to have a background image so that I can nicely set up my, my scenes and um, give an overall uh, professional experience to my, my viewers. So how do I work about it? So I'm going to go back into the image and I'm going to click on browse and it's going to give you a crash. Okay, we're going to ignore this right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to search for the folder where my image is. Um, and Okay, that's not the one. Uh, there we go. Uh, into my graphics. And you're going to see, notice that it's not for me, it's not showing any of the thumbnails for the images, but I know that this is the one that I want. It's called Crazy T Hawk. It's supposed to be called Crazy Hawk, but whatever. And I'm going to open it. And you can see here it's displayed. I'm going to click OK, and I can still go in and make the adjustments, and then I'm going to click Exit. There. Now, the next time when I open up OBS Studio, my background image will be here. Now you can go in and I'm just going to add my video capture device and I'm going to click OK and here I am. So uh, I'm going to leave everything else except for YUV color range to full because I want the best quality I, want, I can get and, and that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to just simply uh, go into filters here so I can get my chroma key set up and there's some adjustments here that I, I need to make but I'm just going to leave it like that for now and that's simply what you have to do if you want if you're having this crash issue you just have to force OBS to accept this image by ignoring the crash that's it once you have that done you exit it and you'll reopen it you're going to see that it is here so I hope for some of you out there who are having this issue um, I hope it, it, it helps you and fixes the issue and and hopefully in the near future uh, the, com the developers of OBS or Windows will uh, figure out uh, how to uh, fix this issue. So this is Bernard Parsons or aka Bernie P. Thanking you for watching my uh, tutorial here on uh, the small fix for OBS and if you have any questions by all means uh, leave me some comments below if there's any other issues that you'd like me to check out for you by all means just let me know don't forget to like and subscribe share this with your other friends who may be having problems as well with OBS and um, if you're new to my channel by all means subscribe thank you very much for watching and uh, come back again bye bye